Hello, my name is Mike Bushrow. I'm 48 and I live in Tucson, Arizona. I'm a space scientist working for the camera team on the Huygens probe that recently landed on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. And this is the Archimedes death ray full scale experiment. There are many historians that tend to doubt that Archimedes even had the possibility of setting aflame the Roman ships out in the harbor when Rome attacked Syracuse. Of those who believe that it may actually have happened, one Johannes Tsetse wrote, when Marcellus withdrew them his ships, a bow shot, the old man, Archimedes, constructed a hexagonal mirror and at an interval proportionate to the size of the mirror, he set similar small mirrors with four edges, moved by links and by a form of hinge, and made it the center of the sun's beams. Now since modern materials are much more expensive to use bronze in thick sheets than other materials, I'm going to try using plywood as a backing and sheet metal for the surface. On the assumption that Archimedes was a rather bright boy, I'm going to assume that he also experimented with various metals to find out which made the, the hottest burning glass and would have discovered that the white metals work much better than the red ones. Since we know that tin plating predates the Roman era, he could easily have taken the bronze and dipped it in a vat of liquid tin. But there's also evidence that a silver wash technique was available around that time period, and that's what I'm going to use in order to improve the reflectivity of the metal, or polish it up, and then put a silver wash on it to get even more of the light. And here we are at the secret base where the Archimedes death ray is being constructed. And as you can see, right there on the post is the secret construction plans for making the death ray. Posted in plain sight and not properly guarded. Well, building the full-size death ray sure generates a lot of sawdust. We know how Jamie feels about keeping the shop clean. So time to clean up some of the dust. Now the wind has settled a little bit and it's a little bit safer to do it before proceeding the next part of the assembly. Okay, building the inner frame structure with the assistance of Samson and Goliath. improvement I intend to make over Adam's design for the full-size death ray is instead of needing a forklift to move it around, I'm building a stand for it, which will have casters on the bottom and a pivot point in the center there to be able to help tilting and aiming the death ray. Also make it much easier to move around. First Full assembly, full size death ray. Hello, Samson. Hello, Goliath. Well, it's time to begin work on the actual mirror. This is plywood backing from the sheet metal, and it sends a colloquial backup. Since unfortunately plywood doesn't come in 8 foot by 8 foot pieces, I had to cut it into shapes that will work correctly in order to make parabola that you need. We just 
put two pieces together edge by edge and bend too much in one direction and not. Now that the individual pieces of the plywood have been glued together and screwed together in order to make the one large octagon sheet, I put the sheet on top of the framework so it's beginning to look like an actual potential mirror at this point. Very pretty with a small octagon in the center and the eight pieces going on sideways. This will only be attached to the framework at the edges in one spot in the very center to pull it back and to form the mirror to make the variable focus. I need to do all of the secondary mirrors and there are going to be eight of those. Now in order to make them adjustable, this thing looks kind of like an outrigger canoe at this point. I'm adding threaded rod and an offset so that I can either tighten or extend them out in order to warp them in and out so that I can get just the right curvature, a cylindrical curvature, off of the secondary mirrors and hopefully get a little bit of concentrated heat on the target so that it will help set the wood on fire and polish up and be one of the secondary mirrors. Okay, and now the secret weapon, which I'm guessing Archimedes may have found as well, <laughs> and that is to silver the otherwise somewhat plain steel. And the process for that alchemy is to start off with a sensitizing solution to go on top of the pre-coat that I put on yesterday and allowed to cure overnight. I'm ready for the magic to begin. Next, equal quantities of AB. Now, this is the focus on the primary mirror. Pulling this in roughly half an inch should focus the mirror for 100 feet. Somewhere around there. Well, we're standing a safe distance back from the target, looking at the death ray. And you can see it's definitely big and it's definitely bright. But I still don't see any smoke or flames coming out of our token Roman ship. So I'm afraid this one is not quite ready to prove Archimedes right. Although I still think with better silvering, and a bit more time and practice, I could come a lot closer. Look at how bright that thing 